They're called dry packed. And um, with the first thing you want to do is open up your box, make sure everything looks good, and then just give everything just a quick cut and put it directly into water. That way you can take your time in designing. Um, so um, you want to remove all leaves, make sure you have nice clean water. You want it to be uh, a room temperature water, um, not too cold, definitely not hot. And um, uh, you want no leaves or anything in the water because it um, makes the water murky and um, so clean, clean, clean. Just like you would want it. Just like you would want to swim in. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm going to cut all of the, uh, this is called Aramiris, and I want to cut it all exactly the same size. And when I start to design it, I'm going to you cut everything on a 45 degree angle. Probably like a similar vase that you guys would use in your stores. Just a simple vase. I'm just going to evenly space everything out. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, um, this is called, uh, this is a, a type of grass, it's called bare grass. And what I did, I took this bind wire and tied it just around here. Just clean all your mechanics so it's nice and neat. So if they do see the mechanic, it's just nice and clean. And then I cut everything very evenly as well. Place it in. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to swirl the grass around the arrangement. So just that simple touch of grass just does so much and creates so much movement to the arrangement. So really that's all you do, it just brings your eye right up to the flowers. And these haven't even started to open yet. Ear mirrors last an extremely long time. You can probably get this to last like 10 to 12 days, especially since none of the bugs have opened yet, and they'll open all the way up to the top. So it's just a simple way to just make an arrangement. I mean, it really didn't take any a, a lot of time or um, a lot of fussing with the flowers. Just so, just keep it simple. So, um, it's nice and clean. It's not it's not too crazy. You don't want it to take away too much from you know what you guys are selling. You just want it to be an accent and to make it feel luxurious in in your spaces. So this is a monstera leaf, and what I did, I took the um, I cut the top off it just right off. Just right here. Now, a monstera leaf will last just as long as, your, it will last forever out of water, but it will last just as long as your flowers do um, without water. And then it will, start to, it will start to turn yellow and fade. But it will last as long as this flower reason. So what I'm going to do is just take um, the vine wire again and tie the monstera leaf. So I just went right on the vein of the monstera leaf with the wire. And you want to keep it nice and clean and neat. I have them both going in the same direction.
Um, to leaf line of us. So what I do this time, I'm just going to cut the hard part of the leaf out. <laughs> There's, do you see where it gets very wide right here? I'm just going to take that whole thing and just cut it right off. And that way it's more pli it's, uh, pliable. Just take a little bend with your hand. You want to be very neat, and if you notice, I'm, my vein lines up both ways, so I line the vein right up, and then it will look very um, clean in the bodice. And I do that when I roll the leaf. It just cleans up your stems. It makes everything look very modern. Um, it's a great trick. So say you guys get flowers in. I only have this tall vase. And you know, if I put them in the vase, it's going to be so short. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to, I'm going to extend them by using um, leaves. So the cows are so short, and then I just want to extend them. I made the leaf, I twisted leaves, so I brought the leaf around. So what I did, I bent it and then pinched it, again using bind wire. All of a sudden, your, your flowers are now taller. I like a lot of dramatic movement, so this is kind of like doing, they're all clustered, but they're doing like a ballet out of the side of the house. <laughs> Roses, um, when, when they come in, they come in wrapped in cardboard, and what you want to do is take off the packing petals. There's some ugly um, flower petals. They're not dead, they're just, um, you can just, re just very carefully remove the outer uh, petals. And for roses, do you recommend putting like 7 up or sugar? Um, I really feel like clear water, clean water, um, and changing it and cutting the stems make make it last longer than seven up or sugars and um, bleach and things like that. You you can add it to it. It's supposed to make the water clearer longer, but for me, I would just rather just do clear water. That way, you just know that things are operating correctly. So I'm going to show you how to um, manipulate a calla. So I just got my hand wet. So I could just very carefully massage. What I'm doing, I'm just breaking up the cartilage inside of the calla. That's magic. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> so, so just one calla, look how beautiful that can just I like that. fill up the box. I also, Calla lily is the only flower that can suck up um, water to, through any part of its stem. So you could have a calla lily just bent like this, and it will still drink water just through the stems. In the other class, a lot of people had questions about hydrangea. So um, hydrangea, if it comes in and it looks sad, 
Um, you can just easily place it upside down in water. And then it will rehydrate. So if, if it um, looks, you know, sad or wilting, just put it upside down for about an hour in, um, in water. And when hydrangea comes in, you need to cut it on an angle, cut it up the stem like that, and then you take a knife, and just like a carrot, you're going to clean, scrape. This is just scraping the skin off of the um, stem, and then it can it's absorb water more. It's, it's too heavy, exactly. Mm -hmm. And it's going to keep your hydrangea lasting longer. It's a very hard flower, even for us. It gives us um, trouble all the time, but if you take the proper steps and keep it moist, you can um, mist the flower on top, and it will also keep it from here longer. Do you have any questions? For like tulips and, and things that are more, you know, like mm -hmm. bulbous, have you ever like cut, you know, like, like stuck a pin on your right over the head? Does that really work? It, that keeps it, it from keep growing. It keeps it from growing. Okay. So, I mean, a, a tulip, I mean, I think that's a beautiful part about a tulip, right. that it gets lazy and and um, kind of does whatever it wants to do. Uh -huh. It makes it look more natural to me, but if you want to to stop it, you want a really formal looking tulip, you can put a, just take your knife and cut just below the head. Does that work with any flower? Or just no, it's just like a that? tulip. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and if you want them to stand straight up, you can put a penny in the water uh -huh. and it will, they'll stand straight up. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Any other questions?